Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. I don't know about hardcore, but... Let's, uh feel like getting it out of my system, what do you reckon? <sighs> I think I've got it out of my system now. Hoping to go for a game of snooks. I ain't got a queue yet, have I? The queue's not ready! I've got a 1947 Nelson and Wood queue from. from Leeds. 1947. It were a year my dad were born, and I was going to give him it for his birthday, but. You don't want it, does he? So I've got a cool for your birthday. You won't gonna you won't gonna know how much it is. Because I got it for free, it's a classic, but I'm having it refurbed. And uh, but to have a cue like this made, you're looking at 500 quid for wood and that. So I might as well keep it for my son if he's happy with his broom handle. So we're looking forward to taking it for a blast and getting, having a good game on my own today. But I think I'm going to go anyway with my little poker thing that I've got. I've had too much cut off it. But other than that, uh, just been up and seeing Dan, a few meetings. I had a meeting with. I've got a meeting, sorry, with AJ this week. Meeting with Steve Crump, Mick Whale Thursday, weighing. Uh, so, God, it's a flying machine, this with that remap. Flies, man. There's always one, isn't there, wants to race. Boy racer up my arse here. But um, we've just had a chat about fighters' purses and... They're talking to me about what, what they were paying Clinton back in day, I mean boxing's now, I look at fight purses that fighters get and I think they're getting paid mega money aren't they? There's people who are getting mega money, for example, I know somebody who's not won a belt and he's just been paid handsomely, and he's not a big lad in size but you put that on what, what, what Clinton were getting 10 years ago for fighting for world title defences. And that's how boxing's come full circle. So you've got to give Eddie Hearn and the people, the powers that be who are at the top credit for paying these guys good money. For paying these people well. So I, I think it's all good personally. I think it's all good. But uh, the fight at the weekend that I liked, Shaq and Peters against Del Spellman. I've given him loads of stick and I have that uh, Dean, whatever your name is, I've got about 100 names. Dillian White's brother, non brother, whatever he is, brother from another mother. Who gives a flying hoot? But he's a TV fighter, Shaq and Peters, and he's done well to match him. Get him in a fight, get him an English title, and credit to you. Credit to you, you've got to give him a bit of credit there. An English title is not to be snip sniffed at. Six foot six light heavyweight as well. Oh my god, six foot six, 12 stone seven. Oh my god, that's like Yui Fury making 12 stone seven. Unbelievable. So, done well for him. Done well. Uh, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, do we? But Move to the left. If you can get anybody to an English title, 
You're doing well, aren't you, in game, aren't you? That's how I look at it. Is it he's his manager or his advisor. It's hard enough job as it is. Hard enough, and like I said, look at that. Look at that. Stress lumps, according to the doctor. Stress lumps. Stressed out. Look like measles, don't they? I don't think the measles, but please I hope keep not. left toward the north. I hope not, but it is what it is, isn't it? 330 mile, I've done an half a tank in this. It's not bad that is it. For a 2.2 diesel, it's not bad at all. 331 mile, it's just over half a tank. If I get 600 out of this tank or 550, I'll be well happy. But, it is what it is. It is what it isn't. Now, keep left. What are you doing, mate? Get in your lane. Move to the left in 400 Tampon. yards. Please keep left toward the north. The north. We're going north now. Where the now keep left. Keep left. Keep left. Keep left. It's just a jump to the left. I feel like going out and getting drunk and drinking a few cold ones. I think it's because I've had this and I'm always hot when I've had this. I'm trying to sweat these out, whatever it is on my head. It's like I've got lurgies or something, innit? Look at them. Stress, man. I just showed him my mate. Oh, you've been snorting coke? You've been up all night snorting coke? I said, my head been snorting coke. It's one of them. I said, I don't know what they are. Overworked and underpaid it will be. Overworked and underpaid, working for a pat on back for ops and promotions. <laughs> working for a pat on back. Working for summer. But uh, nice to speak to AJ Please today. Hey, up at AJ, I, I know you're watching, mate. Turn that off, I don't want people knowing where I'm going. Nice to speak to you, AJ, today on phone. I hope that. Uh, I hope that you come back into boxing fold. I hope that you come back into boxing fold because it's a tough sport, man. It's a tough, tough sport. Let's get some more light in here. That better. That's better, isn't it? I don't know if you're supposed to undo sunroofs in. Are you moving? I don't know, but... Look at that. I'm going to slow down without using brakes. Just shoot the flappy paddle. Are oh, you right, Gibbo? Just use that, don't you? Just slow down. But... But yeah, I'm trying to wonder now what we're going to do for next show November 28th any heavyweights out there that are interested in fighting Cash Alley and you sell some and you can sell tickets you want to come and have a fight in Sheffield on Cash Alley's Dennis Hobson promotions debut get in touch uh, I'm trying to think of that guy that Chris Smedley's got snowy Snowy, would you, would, Chris, get in touch if you be, if your fighter, Darren Snow, would be interested. Let me know, Chris, and I'm sure we could work some out. It'll be a good show. Pity, uh, the, what's the kid, what's the kid called now? Who, uh, oh, Luke and Nicky are training, the heavyweight, the big lad who's lost some weight. I forgot his second name now, it's unprofessional, I mean it. He'd be a good fight if he, if he were in shape. That'd be a good fight, that. But we'll see, won't we? Uh, that's the only really fight I've seen at Cash Alley, the David Price one. And I think he threw it all away, really. But hopefully he'll... Uh, hopefully he'll be all right now that he's back on track. But 
it's a, it's a tough sport, isn't it? It's a tough sport. Tough sport, but there was something else I wanted to mention. Uh, Jane Coucher's book. That's come today, Jane Coucher's book. I'm gonna have a uh, I'm gonna have a read of that. I was gonna do it all in one night, but if I put for start a book, I should, I, I'm usually on it 40 hours. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a chapter a night and treat myself. So I'm gonna be going to bed. To, I'm gonna be going to bed every night with Jane Couch for is it uh, 15 chapters or 18 chapters? Is that all right with you, Jane? <laughs> See if I can nip through here. Shortcut. Look at that, it's just gone on go. What's my look? But, yeah, look at that, that'll teach me, won't it? Spill up, brat. So... But yeah, uh, should be a good show this weekend. So now in the stable, there is Tyon Nurse, Josh Whale, Tommy Frank, Cash Alley, Kane Salvin, Keenan Wainwright. That's six in the stable now. All good kids. You've got three. Three, four champions there out of them six that have won belts ranging from southern area up to British title. And you got Josh there, Rob, for a European, so that's good, isn't it? That's good. That's good. Uh, somebody on Twitter keeps tweeting me in. Uh, don't tweet me into stuff unless I tweet myself in. Trying to get a reaction and stir a bit of trouble up between Steffi Bull and people around him like Ryan Rhodes. Don't try and do things like that, mate. And don't ask things like, oh, how many questions, how many, how much money and blah, blah, blah. It's not for me to say things like that. So don't try and cause trouble via social media like that. If I'm gonna say anything on social media, it's something that I would say to somebody's face if I've got something to say. Like, it's like that Dean White. It's not to do with me what he calls his send, but I mentioned it on my channel because people kept sending interviews, in, sending, not interviews, people kept sending me questions in why is he keep changing his name, I don't know, but I'll ask him, I said so and so wants to know why you, why you called all these different names, because I don't know, is, is that the, is that the new, new thing at the moment that's going on, people keep calling themselves different names, I don't know, but it's up to him isn't it, if he wants to call his send. Fred Bloggs or what did he say the other day he's going to call his son Eddie Earn so that people can say oh look it's the black Eddie Earn I don't know it's a bit strange but that's up to him innit it's, if that's how he lives his life wanted to have different names good luck to him good idea that good idea I feel like calling myself uh, Fred Blow or something or Joe Slow or Spotty Measlehead I don't know, but I don't know. Let me just call up here and put one of these posters up for the show. Right. We're going slower. Look at Gibbo's beast. All right, that in it for a 2.7 diesel, the RS5 body kit. Only problem is though. When he's at traffic lights, and he's next to me, I just go like that, bye bye. Even though it looks the part. They're all in, do you know what these lot are into here? Gibbo and all his little gimp mates, you know what they're into? They're into all this, uh, having the lights done, look at that. Let's tint our lights. How old are ya? How old are ya? I'm a grown man. Let's see if Gibbo's tinted his lights on his Audi. Well, look at that. I 
I don't do that. Do you know what I do? I go out, I go out and buy a proper LCD U, LED unit. Tinting me lights. Oops. Two seconds. Gonna stick these up in office. Never. Never happened, no. Huh? How you doing? You blocked me on WhatsApp, you! And yeah, I ain't heard out from you! My own cousin blocking me. What? Block me on WhatsApp, don't they? Old family blocking me on WhatsApp. I don't know what's Will coming to when your own flesh and blood are blocking you and then denying it in front of you. Has he just gone in there? Has he gone in there? Gibbo, what you done to you there? What are you done to you there? We've got Gibbo here now, <laughs> head low motors. This is where you need to come for your car MOT. <laughs> Carl Gibson, Edlow Motors. He's never been in trouble in his life. He's a family man. His bird ain't got blown up tits, they're real. <laughs> they're just paid for. £125 a month. Did you go out a weekend? Did you go out a weekend? No, we've got Brandon, haven't we? Hang on, we'll just turn this off. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Climber Cool, South Yorkshire Packaging and Edlington Motors, and here's the main man himself, same age as me, same class at school. We used to do it science duggies, didn't we, Gibbo? Yeah, definitely. That's when we, we went to school. When we went, when we went <laughs> twagging it at Suddy's house. <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, it's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. Now, I've just read everybody's comments. Uh, <laughs> regarding my is Tyson Fury on the slide video and uh, it's amazing isn't it how many people lose their minds over a few comments and a few statistics and all you people who comment on any other video and blind bubbles at me and then when I tell a few home truths, you all lose your minds, don't you? Hey, eh? <laughs> hey, you're losing your minds! Oh my God, unbelievable! <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh my God! Um, right, Otto Wallin. Otto Walling were basically fetched in right for Tyson Fury to look the business against. Tyson were turned up to knock him out, didn't he? Right, and he didn't pull it off. I had Tyson to win on points, and I won plenty of the bookies. But uh, the bottom line is this: Walling, nobody had ever heard of him. Forty-six on box wreck said all right things, ticked all boxes, took a really, really, really low purse, and I mean low, it was embarrassing, I mean, Tyson's walked away with all the millions, but we all know what eyes at low got, don't we, I mean, that won't keep Tyson Fury in uh, shoes for a month, what eyes at low got, now, but if you say anything, you're a hater. Porky, you're a hater. You're a hater. For telling us the truth. That Tyson Fury, he uh, threw more power punches than jabs. Look, all you Fury fans, you've all got carried away. You got carried away. 
He's beat two world champions, Vladimir in his 40th year and an old man in Cunningham and a cruiserweight. That is it. His third best win is Otto Wallin. Life and death. Fourth best win, Hamer. His fifth best win, Derek Chisora. That is it. That's his top five. Top six is Chisora rematch. That's it. Six of the best. Best win, a guy in his 40th year, 68 fight. Get with the program. You've got people here making out his, his Ali, Muhammad Ali. He's beat two world champions. Ali beats Ali beats 16. That's it. And one world title win. Look, people, what they have to do, what you have to do, you have to get up in the morning, look in the mirror, go to box rec on your computers before you get back in bed for the day, that is. What you do, you look on box rec and you look who he's beat, right? Tyson Fury is a masterful boxer, yes, but who has he beat? Whom? It's a little bit like Tony Bell, you win it. Self promotion. That's the name of the game. Self promotion. But if you say anything, you're a hater. It's because you're friends with Peter, and the word is you don't get on with Tyson. Look, let me just say this. Blood is thicker than water. All right. Some things are best kept in house. All right. I notice everybody seems to be sticking it to Ben Davidson. They all want a reply off him regarding what John Fury said. You know, you're not going to get that. He's just going to pump the company line out, isn't he? He's not going to want to mess it up for himself. He's just going to say, look, he's his dad, he loves him, and blah de blah That's all he's going to say, and emotions are running high, and they probably were. He's just seen his son get cut. Everybody's entitled to an opinion, but the emails I've got in the last 12 hours are shocking. I mean, the people actually mean what they say. I mean, oh my God, there's some sick individuals out there, but bring it on. It's, it's, a, it's opinions, isn't it? Everybody's got them. If you, if you have an opinion and it's about somebody that you like, you, will, you lose your minds. But if I have an opinion about Mr. B, you know, or somebody else, they all start jumping up, bandwagon saying, well done, Porky, well done. Straight talk, that's right. But if you say it about their hero, oh my God, Porky, you're a hater. You're a hater. How dare you say that about Tyson Fury? He's the best ever. It's better than Ali. He beats Joshua. Look, you can't compare him to Ali. Different era. Different era. Ali had retired, you know, probably eight, nine years before Tyson Fury were born, so you can't compare that, can you? Do you know what I mean? It's craziness craziness people should be embarrassed commenting like this oh my god how dare I say the truth how dare I we had the big build up didn't we from David Hay saying that this, this Tyson Fury knocks Vladimir out well you've just seen it this Tyson Fury couldn't knock Otto Wallin out I mean, that cut were bad, yeah, but I've seen worse. I've seen guys with worse cuts. They're embarrassing. Otto Wallin. Otto Wallin. A Wally. Oh my God. A Wally. Now, if anybody wants to take me on in a debate, you're more than welcome, but Tyson Fury is now not the best heavyweight in the world get over it he does not have a belt get over it he's not got a belt vacated them porky how dare you say that you're a hater 
hashtag vacated stripped of the IBF vacated the other belts right yes he beat Vladimir Klitschko and was Laniel but the Laniel status is no more people in the boxing industry won't come out and say it because they're hoping for some crumb down the line or get their fighters on it, one of his slots they're not gonna say a word people don't want me to say a word even people very close to me why do you say that? I because it's an opinion yeah but don't say that I will say what I want it is my channel right it's an opinion if you don't like it do not watch get over it Pookie you're a hater you're a hater how dare you say that about Tyson Fury he's lost all that weight and he's come off drugs oh well done getting off drugs but people do that while they're doing 10 year in jail they don't do it while they're banking 10 million a fight, do they? Nobody's got anything wrong against Tyson Fury. I know Tyson Fury, but we have to keep it real. We can't be hanging out the back of people's arseholes, tickling their feet. Boxing doesn't work like that. Otto Wallin, a Wally, he has just beat. Boogie, you're a hater! He had a layoff. Yeah, he had a layoff. He went out partying. He got it out of his system from the age of 27 to 30. His own fault. Not mine. His own fault. Yeah, but Porky, you were depressed. Yes, so are millions of other people. Get over it. Man up. How dare I say things like this? How dare I? How dare I? Yes, a lot of people get depressed in life, don't they? But you don't want to be in a boxing ring if you're depressed, do you? So my words are these. I don't think you were that depressed. You might have been down over the situation, but I don't think you were that depressed. We're talking about a guy, you know, a heavyweight champion of the world. How could he be depressed? What are you going to tell me next? That Stan Collimo were depressed on 45 grand a week at Aston Villa. Shit happens, move on. If you say anything, you're a hater. Oh, you're a hater, Porky, you're a hater. I met Tyson at an evening with Tyson Fury. We paid 250 quid, he came over and had a photo took with us. So what? Does that give you a right to go around abusing people who speak the truth on YouTube? No, it does not. It's an opinion. Get over it. It's fish and chip wrapped wrappers tomorrow. Get over it. It is a opinion. All right. If you don't like it, do not watch. It's an opinion. My channel is for hardcore fans. We give an opinion. Yes, and we give an opinion about Yui Fury too. All right. Now people are saying, how dare you say that? His trainer's done well for him. What has his trainer done for him? He got him to lose some weight. Other trainers have done that for him all his life. Now, that's just life, isn't it? He's had to lose some weight in best training camps in Wales, flying all over on other people's time and money. It's not hard, is it? A pot of gold at the end of the rainbow for him. Well done. I hope he punches AJ upside down and well, but the bottom line is this. He's come back, he's fought Serifa Sarifi. Pianetta, they stunk the place out. He was then fed to Wilder because they thought he didn't have it no more. Maybe he should have got the decision against Wilder. Who knows? But he got dropped twice away from home as a challenger. Fighting on back four. You don't win world titles like that. Get over it. 
get over it. A couple of them rounds were close against Wilder, they were very hard to score. You've got to turn the sound down watching the BT Sport version. Now when he gets to the knockdowns, there were 12 seconds before the referee spoke to him on the last one, right? It was 30 seconds before he waved play back on. Very, very lucky, but they gave a draw. Now, he's come back after that Wilder draw, and what has he done? He's knocked Tom Swartz out, which is supposed to look good against, and now he's supposed to knock Walling out, who he's supposed to look good against. Both very similar, undefeated Europeans. Undefeated, it looks good. So you can sell it as... They've never been beat, blah de blah, they're here to win, they don't know how to lose, a six foot six, all that. How dare I mention that? Those guys have beat who? Who had they beat? Nobody had heard of them. Right? Life and death we wallin. That's what it were. In front of my eyeballs I watched it. Life and death. Nobody will change my mind if you don't like it, as I've just said for the third time, don't watch or don't listen all right i'm not here to make any mates i've got enough mates in my life i don't need any more mates we're here to give opinions like i said if you don't like it don't listen but the main thing is that we're giving opinion all right now a little band of brothers on there we have software that you don't have <laughs> it's about 25 accounts on there run by about four people you're all not double agents you are superhuman triple agents <laughs> i've done nothing but laugh tonight some of the statistics i've been looking at but it is what it is isn't it it's social media keep the comments coming but the emails well some of you should be ashamed of yourselves go and have a look at mirror and ask yourself what grown men are typing in emails. Oh my God. Jesus. Well, if anybody's got a problem with my comments, come to the show on Friday and we'll get you on the channel. Ponds Ford, 7pm. Come and get on Porky's Corner. Come and give your opinion on the Tyson Fury skid row. Come and give my, get my opinion. Look, fighters, they end up in at some stage in the career where they they get to the top and then they're coming down the hill for example Carl Frampton he's reached the top of the mountain he's coming down it now Carl Frampton's coming down the mountain but nobody dare say a word about it if the Frampton fans same as Tyson Fury nobody will say a word, a word about it he got old in that ring tonight but nobody in boxing dare say a word because he's a massive star. And I can understand, understand that. Now all you Joshua lovers, when it happened to Joshua after 91 rounds, you all jumped on bandwagon. Now a week before you were saying totally different things. Look at the statistics. I don't want to hear about cuts. Yeah, Yui Fury got cut. Totally different cut to that one. Yui Fury had the referee saying he was going to stop the fight. Tyson Fury had a weak referee and they had ESPN passing messages to Ben Davidson telling him what the script were. The doctor was not going to stop the fight. They weren't going to stop that fight. Tyson knew once he got to end the fight, he'd won. They were not going to stop that fight. But if Otto Wallin... If Otto Wallin would have got cut like that, it would have been stopped. And like I said, people need to get over it. Get over it. Your opinions. Get over them. It's an opinion. Get over my opinion as well. Move on. Go out and have a pint of beer or something. But take your missus for a walk around block. It is what it is, isn't it? It's boxing. It's opinion. I'm not going to sit here and say you don't know what you're on about because there's some, a lot of people probably know a lot more than me but it's my opinion isn't it? It's a YouTube channel, it's a small YouTube channel. People lose your minds, spend all day email, aim, emailing me. Some of these emails must have took an hour to type. But the same person who sent it off me, 
I've got emails here of people, right? <laughs> the same person who sent that last one signed one previous 40 minutes later with the same name. <laughs> <laughs> minutes after commenting on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. Just get out and just go, do, go, go for a jog or something. Do you know what I mean? Go for a jog or something like that, but oh my god, I think it's craziness. It is utter craziness. I'm gonna read them all out one day this week. Every time I do a Fury video, people lose their minds. They call me a money grabber. Look, once you start putting other videos on your channel, you don't get paid. You don't get paid when you swear either. You get monetized, but it's not about money, it's about getting things out there. Boxing's never been about money for me, trust me. But people, stop losing your shit over it. Grown men losing their minds. So, like I said, when you look at the boxing heavyweight division now, it's all pretty close now, isn't it? You've just got Otto Walling ranked 46 doing that to Tyson Fury. You've got Andy Ruiz doing that to Joshua. Ortez were winning every round against Wilder except the rounds he got dropped. Anybody can beat anybody in that top top set. Yui Fury could come back and beat a top guy. He's 24 years of age with a lot of experience now, hasn't he? Tyson's, what, 31? And a seven year difference, and a six, seven year difference, so. A lot of different, a lot of difference, but like I said. A lot of you people, and you know you are, running all your, all your different accounts, you should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed. Grown men, and half and you follow me on Twitter. <laughs> half and you follow me on Twitter, right? And a handful of you have got my WhatsApp number. Unbelievable, you just don't know who your friends are, do you? Like I said, go buy some proper software for your computers. And you'll find some stuff out about who your real friends are. <laughs> oh my god. Unbelievable. You never know about some people, do you? But like I said to somebody this morning, you keep your friends close and your enemies real closer. Alright? After today, there's some people that I'll probably not speak to ever again. And they know who they are, don't they? <laughs> Oh, my God. Hey, there's never a dull moment. As the Dennis warned me about this. <laughs> Peace out.